Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I'll make a video on Cars Jr. Actually, not Cars Jr. I'll make a video on the Beyond Burger meat. So the reason I'm doing a video on the Beyond Burger meat is because one, I want to know how it tastes like. I want to know if it's even close to real meat. I go to Cars Jr. and actually know what the, you know, the texture of the real meat is like. But for Beyond meat. If you don't know what Beyond Meat is, it's actually it's a, a plant-based uh, meat, so it's vegan. It's literally vegan, and I will show you it's vegan. You will see um, here on my computer. You will see um, that I have tabs um, that say is it vegan, and it is vegan, 100% uh, plant-based. Um, I think it's a, a food option that is good for people who uh, like junk food but don't like meat so we're gonna go ahead try it out we're gonna try this burger I've never tried it in my life um, and also another reason why I want to try out Beyond Bur Beyond Meat is because Beyond Meat went public meaning it's a public company it is available to buy uh, stock in the stock market and it went public I it went public on May 3 2019 this year so and, and and the price has gone up a lot all the way up to 234 dollars and now it's 81 dollars it started off at 66 and i'm trying to see if it's worth buying this is it profitable is it not profitable and we're gonna see um yeah so let's go and try it out look at the burger it looks pretty decent um, the patty is very uh, thick so I'm actually gonna just rip through it tastes like meat no it's okay it's good it's all right it tastes like meat so let's bite into it It's good. It's all right. Passes the test. I would definitely buy it. Um, I would definitely buy it because, as compared to regular meat, which I'm trying to cut down on, it has hormones. It has uh, too many processed, uh, I guess, ingredients. Actually, this one has processed ingredients as well. As you can see, it's made up of a, a lot of different things. Um, Main ingredients are pea protein, uh, canola oil, refined coconut oil, rice protein, natural flavors, bean protein, and it's processed, but it's plant-based. So the only thing I was worried about is if it, it was gonna have like some kind of hormones. It, it doesn't have GMO, so like genetically modified organisms. It doesn't have none of that. Um, and, and meat, regular meat, you buy any any store most likely has some kind of hormones that were injected. To, to make the animal grow faster and therefore um, produce uh, unhealthy meat. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, the co it, it costed, I think it was like in total, $8.50, just a burger, like including taxes. So kind of pricey, if they were to bring down the price, uh, I would definitely buy this more often instead of the regular meat. Now, would I buy the stock? I'm not sure, I, I will have to, uh do my research so let's let's dig in so we have we have beyond meat right here um, as you can see the chart past year it's gone up it's come back down will it keep going down who knows but the earnings have been beat so whatever has been expected has been um, beaten and it it looks like it's it's gaining traction um, and it may be profitable eventually I think it was profitable last time the earnings came out um, in terms of news is a lot of people are wondering if you should buy if you should buy the stock now or uh, wait wait for it to go down more but my opinion is I'm probably gonna buy like very few shares maybe like five shares to see what happens um, uh, what I have seen is that the revenue is not that high 
it's expected to grow because they're selling to I think it's been McDonald's, Carl's Jr., Burger King. I don't know what other stores. Maybe even uh, was it Vegito? I think I'm not sure. Um, so here I have a headline that says uh, Beyond Meat turns its first profit, which is awesome, um, topping estimates. But still, the stock price goes down. Mm. Talking about celebrities that missed out investing in Beyond Meat. So in conclusion, I'm almost done with my burger. In conclusion, I think I'm gonna buy some shares of Beyond Meat, maybe just five, 10 shares. And I'm just gonna hold them, see what happens. And I think that there will be demand for this burger because from personal experience, I see people who go out to eat and there's maybe somebody who doesn't eat meat and now you're left with, you know, having to decide whether you go to a meat-based restaurant or a plant-based restaurant. And this, with Beyond Meat, now you can have this type of meat available in any restaurant. Anybody could go there. And I think it's a good source of food, not healthy source, I'm just saying a good option for those people who are vegan and like junk food. You know, everybody loves junk food. It's great tasting I know there's nothing about the health about it but like people like to eat and this is a good substitute there's not a lot of great vegetarian places or vegan places that taste great and if they do taste great it's usually a very expensive place that's privately owned by a mom-and-pop shop and with this you know it's fast easy and pretty much is gonna meet your your standards in terms of like taste um, so it will be a great I think my personal opinion is it will be something that will be in demand. So that's my conclusion. Do not follow my ideas. Do make your own judgments. And with that, I hope you liked the video, that you find, found it useful in some way. Um, subscribe. Stay tuned. There's a lot of material I'll be putting up. Uh, this is just one of them that, you know, they're just all over the place. You never know what, what I will post, but generally it's all about um, finances and stuff regarding life. Um, and that's it. So see you on the next video. Bye. -bye.